Hey guys, welcome back to Alloy Geek. In this video, we're gonna show you how to change the window on the Niton XL2 Plus Analyzer. Now, in front of me here, I've created a little wedge to help show you guys. You see, I wrote Niton XL2. It's just gonna help you guys see the screen. You don't need it, and I wouldn't recommend changing the window exactly the way I do here. Tilt, tilt the analyzer sideways like this when you do it so you don't drop anything in the end. So let's get started here. So the first thing I'm gonna need is just kind of a clean workspace. I'm gonna set this up so you guys can see it. You'll see the analyzer here. Let's get this all set up. All right, so now it's the same as the XL2. So if you didn't know that, you just remove these front two screws here. Take the top one off. Now these are small screws, so just make sure you don't drop them, especially like on a shop floor, you may never find them. And you can find more of these screws on allygeek.com, but you know you don't wanna lose things when you don't have to. Then you're gonna remove this front faceplate and you'll be able to see in the light that little thin film window there, that's gonna seal your analyzer. It's gonna protect the X-ray tube and detector, which is what we can see here. So I'm gonna get this all up close. You'll be able to see the X-ray tube and detector. Very cool. Um, so the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is on the back side of this faceplate, you'll see where the window is, that's right here. We've got a new window here. Your auto windows, you can find more of those on LAGeek.com as well. So here we go, here's the, I'm gonna just grab this tab here, my hands, I'm gonna pull the window off, okay? So the window can just be discarded, and now what we need to do next is put on the new window. So we'll take it out of here. Now, I recommend using a tweezer. These tweezers, you can buy these on allygeek.com too. Um, they don't have sharp edges, so they have a really nice, well-rounded edge. Uh, and they do a great job. If you use electrical tweezers, they're a lot of times too sharp for the, the job. So next, I'm going to take off this backing material and there, that reveals the adhesive. Now, I'm going to take the window itself and I'm gonna align that with this hole. So you'll be able to see that just like this. See that? And then I'm just gonna basically press the window down. Now, this is a kind of a pressure sensitive adhesive, so I'm using the back side of the tweezers right on the edge. You don't wanna to touch the center of the window at all. They're pretty delicate, but they're delicate for a reason. They allow most of the x-rays to pass through, and you can see in the light there, that window is brand new and clean. So when you put the face plate back on, it's kind of obvious, but there's just make sure you're paying attention. There's these two little holes here, or two little nubs, and they, they correspond to the bottom there. So there's an orientation on the face plate. And once that's back on the front, what you can do is just screw this back together. So I'm gonna just, one screw goes in, two screws go in, and you're ready to go. So when you tighten these, just make sure that they're not over tightened. You don't really need to do a lot to them. But that's it, now you have a brand new window in your Niton XL2 Plus. If you need any more information, feel free to reach out on allogeek.com. Thanks for watching.